Uh, team, it's Saturday. Uh, somewhere after this part, there'll be the Tuesday video I shot a couple weeks ago where we took this all apart and tested it. Uh, we determined that this was bad, so we bought another one. Uh, what these do, they're converters. They take your four light system, where you got the separate turn and brake, and they convert it to a two light system on your trailer. So basically all we're going to do is swap this out. Um, we're going to rewire this part up into where these quick connects are. And this end is a plug. And this should just plug right in. So we'll get started on it. We took it apart. It's still Tuesday morning. Uh, there's our converter box. I'm not 100% on the color coding, but I believe the green is the right turn signal, the red is the stop, yellow is left turn. I'm not sure what the black is. The white's ground. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not black, it's brown. Brown's the running lights. And then white's the ground. And then when it comes out the other side, it converts it so when you step on the brake it lights up the both turn signals basically and then it's still got the brown for the running lights and the white for the ground and that guy snakes all the way around then he plugs into a standard four pin because I believe this guy's actually weather rated so he could be like under the bumper or somewhere outside the vehicle but I think this has gotten bad on me. What I will probably do is disconnect it because this is a plug. Uh, just like a four-way. Like, you know, this would be on your trailer. This would be on your vehicle. And uh, I'll, I'll test it there. And I can also test from here out to the plug on the outside. We'll figure out where our problem is. That's... Uh, from here uh, out to the plug on the outside all checks out I haven't checked this end yet and this says right on it it's weather rated or weather proof so it can be on the outside of the vehicle if you want anyway I'll turn on some turn signals see what happens here alright so I had the same malfunction coming out of the box that I did on my trailer and when I tested it on the other side coming into the box everything's working normally there so the signal is not getting through the box and getting out the other side properly so I need to replace this box which I'll have to buy a box because if I cut this out I can't pull my trailer <laughs> even with the I won't have any lights you know what I'm saying uh, instead of just a missing left turn left brake also but so we're gonna plug it all back together I'm just gonna leave it hanging in the back of the car here because uh, once I get one I'll just replace it we should be back up and legal and uh, more importantly safe because there's some times where uh, I got my blinker on and I'm slowing down I don't think the people behind me realize what I'm doing so we'll get that done someday team we're pretty much done uh, the only difference I've noticed so far is this one. They put all the extra wire on the vehicle side. They intend for this to be hanging under the bumper and you just plug straight into it. This one, all the extra wire is on the trailer side. So you can wire this up wherever and then you got this really long pigtail to hook your trailer into. Uh, basically all I've been doing is opening up these quick connects, uh, sliding the tab back, uh, putting the new wire in, and re-crimping it. And we'll see how that works out. It should work out fine. My only fear is I'm going to actually cut the wire <laughs> in half after clamping it over and over like that. I'll show you what I mean if I got a loose one of those laying around. The new one, uh, the ground doesn't have an eyelid on it my old ground I don't I assume it came with that because that's pretty nice looking crimp on there I doubt I was able to uh, do that so I'm gonna go find a, 
an eye hook. Or not an eye hook, but you know what I'm trying to say. I'm going to go find the appropriate thing so I can just back the screw out. And I'll put it on there and then I'll just shoot the screw back in with the new one. Alright guys, we went with a little fork. That's what I had laying around. I guarantee I didn't buy that. I got that from somebody's garage clean out. Uh, all I got left to do is, this is the part that runs down to my plug under the bumper. All I gotta do is plug these two guys together and then uh, run a test to make sure I got everything wired up. And then uh, you could obviously cut these wires shorter. I'm just gonna stuff them in here because there's plenty of room. <laughs> Anyway, so I'll plug it up, we'll run a test, and then I'll uh, commence to putting my body panel back on, etc. The old one. Um, see how the lights are blinking together? The Jeep light and the trailer light are blinking together. Well, let me go put the brake on. The brake on, and now they alternate. But I noticed that with the last one, too. That's just weird. It must be something to do with the way the converter box works. Anyway, uh, we're good to go. Everything checks out. So I'm going to seal all that back in there. I'll see if I got one of those clips laying around. I can show you those clips. Here's one of those little blue connectors. Basically, you uh, stick the wires in there and then you crush this tab down. And the tab uh, splits the insulation and makes contact with the wire inside. I'll show you. I'll put it together real quick. One, the wire you're clamping onto goes on the outside, and the wire you're adding goes on the inside. Anyway, all you do is take your pliers and you crush that down, and it will pinch it together. I'll do that for you real quick. I just took my pliers, grabbed it top and bottom, and just smashed that tab down in there. Then you just fold this over and uh, snap it. <laughs> I'm having trouble doing one handed. Anyway, and you just splice in. And that's what the ones in the Jeep are like this. But they came with the kit I originally bought. So they had grease in them and they were a little bit more. You can see how water could easily get inside this one. They were more sealed. Anyway, to get it apart, I'm going to have to pry that back off. I'll show you. So I just unsnapped the tab because I couldn't do it one-handed. Then on this one, I'm going to pry this part like this, which I can't do one-handed either. But I'm just opening the two blue halves. And then I'm going to take my pliers or another tool and shove the tab back up. All right, so open it up. And you can see if it'll focus where that tab stripped the wire off the sides or stripped the insulation off the sides to make contact with the wire inside. So what I'm going to do is pull the two wires off the tab. The tab came out of the blue body and now I'm just going to get the wires off the tab. There's what the tab looks like. I don't know if this can focus but you can kind of see where it nibbled these two wires. Anyway, we'll put the tab back in the blue thing, kind of like resetting it, and then you can use it again. Uh, which is great on my vehicle. If you're doing this on somebody else's vehicle, just have them buy you some new connectors. Alright, so I stuck the tab back in. Uh, basically, it's where we started. This gap. Where the wires go in is a little wider. There you go. Uh, but, you know, once you close it, crush it, put the tab over, just hold it closed, uh, you'll never know. But, um, there are different versions of this kit. That's not even a picture of it. Anyway, the one we took off with the really long trailer pigtail was uh, 48925. Maybe. <laughs> we've bought three of these this is the most recent one the one we just put on is the 48915 um, I want to say this one came with uh, the weather the greased 
version of this. This is not a grease sealed up version like came with uh, the kit. Because one of these kits came with those. And I don't know if it was this one. I don't see in the picture. But uh, so if you need one of these, uh, definitely take a look at what comes in the kit. This one was definitely cheaper than this one. But uh, I can't remember. We got off some online place. I don't remember where because it was like 10 bucks cheaper than going into the store and buying it, even with the shipping. Uh, I think that'll do it, guys. Um, oh, the wires. The way I figured out what wires to clamp onto with these, the way I did it originally was I just took my tail light apart and checked out what color wire it was. Uh... And then just went back in the fender and found that color. Uh, I'm sure nowadays you could hop on a forum site or look it up on some technical manual online. So, But that's how we originally hooked it up. I just took the tail light off and traced the wire, figured out what color, traced it back, and uh, clamped in, add these splice things in. I think that'll do it, guys. I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.